guys, welcome back to the channel. I'm the Vaped Crusader and here we talk about a whole bunch about vapey things. Um, so thank you guys if you guys have already subscribed. If you haven't, if this is your first time, please consider subscribing. Um, and then hit that notification bell if you guys want to get any um, updates about any new posts that I have. Um, I'd really appreciate it, a thumbs up, and if not, a thumbs down. But if you do, do, if you do, do a thumbs down, um, go ahead and put it in the comments down below just so I know. Um, what I could improve on because I am a new reviewer and I do want to do well for you guys out there in YouTube land um, But today we have my first RDA review the Templar by Ogvape um, So yeah, um, this was actually given to me from one of my friends uh, for the purpose of this review um, So just a little pre-warning. I just want to let you guys know that I did forget to ask for the bag of goodies. It does come with spare O-rings, a 510 adapter, um, and uh, like a whole bunch of the goodies. So it, it, it does come with extra stuff. Um, but that's my fault that I did not ask for that bag of goodies. Um, but I did receive the frosted Ultim cap and we'll talk a little bit more um, when we come back up. But let's go ahead and go below and do this first build. All right, thank you guys so much. Hey, hey, hey! All right, so we are looking at the Templar RDA. Um, it says Velocity Clamp System by Ogvape. Templar RDA has all of their social media on there. Um, has a QR code. Um, then it has a little scratch and sniff right there. You just scratch that off. Um, has Ogvape, all the good stuff. The packaging. Um, like I said. Um, like my buddy gave me this to review and I accidentally forgot to ask for all the other things um, So I just want to apologize about that, but let's go ahead and see what we got in here So in the packaging you do get all your little bag of goodies and everything and you do get All the good stuff, but yeah, this is the RDA it has that nice little uh, night engraving in there. And then it has the air system, same thing on the airflow system, sorry. Um, same thing that is on the other side. Um, has this nice little engraving on the top that says Templar. Really nice. Um, Delrin drip tip, 810 Delrin drip tip. Um, this is what the build deck looks like. Um, you just basically unscrew the top and here we go and then it just comes up it's easy once it's all the way up now if you do unscrew this all the way this whole top piece will fall um so yeah right here you have your lead inserts so that you can, when we're building on here we can just put those leads right in there and then basically clip them on both sides nice deep juice well right here um, it is a I did put the squonking pin in it um, it comes with a regular 510 pin um, if you just want to use it as a dripper let's go ahead and this is the frosted um, Ultim drip tip it says Templar on it as well it's nice I prefer this drip tip over this drip tip but I'll tell you guys why or cap sorry um, I'll tell you why um, when we go back up but we are going to be doing a build on here so i'm going to go ahead and throw it on an rda or a mod not an rda all right and the coils i'm going to be using are these multi-strand fuse claptons by coilology I like these coils, I prefer them especially for squonking. I get, you know, a really nice resistance when I build on them. So let's go ahead and take a couple out. Get a coiling rod real quick. And what you're going to want to do um, is you're going to want to put one on one of these bottom ones and the other on the top. So um, let's go ahead and do that. 
slide that in there. We'll just go ahead and slide these coils on in there real quick. Doesn't need to be perfect right now, we can adjust later. I just want to put the coils in there. Nice little feature I forgot to mention is there's this little lip right here along um, the edge and basically in the top cap you have that little insert so it just locks into place. Um, we've seen this on a couple other RDAs. Um, let's talk a little bit more. So the airflow has like this nice little step down so that you can um, close off some of these chambers like that but we can talk a little bit more about that. So yeah, you can have like the top, middle, and then it'll all be closed off or wide open, whatever you want. Nice conical shape on the inside. Sorry, I have been using this and testing it out. But yeah, not bad. It's supposed to enhance the flavor. All right, back to the build. So let's go ahead and put those a little bit closer. So you don't want it touching the build deck because then you'll have shorts. <coughs> Sorry about that. Um, so yeah, let's go ahead and take this one out just a little bit. This one in just a little bit. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to screw this down. Now I'm not going to screw it down all the way super tight because as I can see this coil right here is kind of close to this wall so I'm going to go ahead and loosen it back up. Adjust these again and then screw it back down. in a good spot after we clip these leads um, we can adjust it so let's go ahead and get our clippers a little snippers Okay, we got it all wicked up. Um, I'm going to be doing some of this old loco, the Mambo Mango on this. Just going ahead and winding up these wicks just a little bit. Whoops. Just to get it started before we start squonking on it. And I'll switch it on over to the pulse box when we go back up top. But hopefully you guys enjoyed the build video, like I said. Um, you know, just learning how to do this damn thing. And hopefully you guys enjoyed it. Um, I'll see you guys back on top. Thank you so very much.
Hey, 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 welcome back up top, guys. Um, hopefully you guys enjoyed my first build. Um, if there's any constructive criticism or anything I can do better, just let me know down in the comments, please. I'd really appreciate it. You guys would be helping me out because like I said, I am a learning reviewer and I would like to know um, what I can improve on because I wanna do really well for you guys. Um, so let's talk some uh, cons, pros, and price um, on this Templar RDA. Um, so, cons. Really, I only have maybe, yeah, I only have one con, and that literally is to adjust the airflow. I kind of need to put my thumbnail into there and like adjust it. So, yeah, let's see. Yeah, it's just hard to adjust it, but I don't really adjust my airflow that much because I'm an air hog. I like everything wide open, but it also depends on it. Um, and that's really it. The clamp system's really nice. Um, this top cap, I'm really not a huge fan of this top cap. I really like this frosted one a little bit more. So let's go ahead and switch it out for you guys. Um, just because, I mean, I could see where I'm lining up the coils and everything, and it's going straight down onto that coil and kicking out that flavor with this nice conical shape. You don't need to put your drip tip on there or anything like that. You can just go ahead and chuck, chuck, chuck. But yeah, I, I like this top cap a little bit better. Um, the flavor increases with this top cap. I get decent flavor out of this one. Not the best flavor, but I, the flavor does increase on this one. Um, that's just me, that could be subjective, it depends. I mean, you know, if you guys have already ordered this, then you know, you guys kind of know what's going on. But those are my uh, pros and cons. The pros are, you know, it, it has a gold deck. I like gold decks. Um, the airflow on this uh, top cap is great. It just goes hitting into those coils. I'm not getting any spit back on either one of these top caps. Um, but yeah, I mean, like it has really nice machining in it. It's, 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 a, it's a solid RDA. Aug Vape, you did a great job. Um, but personally for me, you know, this isn't a good beginner um, RDA, like if you're a beginner, this isn't one I would recommend. I'd get something simple like the Pulse uh, 22 or 24 or the Dead Rabbit. Um, and I'll leave link in the description where you can find this. Um, the price on this, I mean, if you're digging down in the web on Vapor DNA, they have it for $34.99. Um, I'll go ahead and do some more research, but that was where I could find it the cheapest. Um, so like I said, you know, this is my first build. Um, I really do appreciate you guys um, watching this. You know, if there's anything that I can learn or do better, just let me know. Leave it in the comments down below. Um, in the description, I'll have advocacy links, um, links to where you can find it, I'm, um, some of the juices that I'm vaping on, and all that jazz, and also to my social media. Um, so like it if you like it, um, don't if you don't, but if you don't, please let me know why, I'd really appreciate it. And thank you guys so much for coming on down, and just remember, stay vaped.